Hello Team Libra, this is Caroline here with your monthly love reading. Um, if you all don't know the drill, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, and the energies can go either way. So if I say Libra, I could be talking to you, Cross Watcher. Cross Watchers also welcome, okay? So Libra, I don't know what's going on with you this month, but your energies are like really explosive is what I want to say. Not in a bad way, but... I feel like some of you feel like you're out of alignment, okay, and the cards kept flying. I just did a pre-shuffle and cards were flying, okay, so I know you're going through something, Libra. Um, I got the tiger energy for you, so this means that you're not in, your, you're not um, encompassing your divine feminine energy, okay. So when it has to do with that, it's like you are acting um, more of a masculine. You're, you're, it's very dominating energy. But what spirit is saying is you need to get in your um, feminine energy when it comes to the situation. Whatever you are facing right now, I feel like it has to do with your connection, your love connection, okay? So get into your feminine energy and what does that mean? That means you working with the moon energy, okay? And um, tapping into your intuition. I feel like for some of you, you're just really frustrated that things are not moving forward. You had this time frame in your mind where, okay, by August, I'm going to have a, you know, this connection. We're going to see some forward, you know, movement. In this connection and I feel like some of you are disappointed because you didn't get it okay and I feel disappointment I feel frustration so work with the moon energy we're having a moon um, on the 31st if I'm not mistaken which is tomorrow okay so we got another new moon this month um, so at night when the moon is out that's when you tune in to that energy okay so make sure you do that. I feel a lot of frustration. And the other thing is, is that some of you are, um, you think that whoever has like intuitive gifts or, you know, basically operates through intuition, you feel like your crown chakra has some sort of blockage. If you feel like that, um, it, it does. I feel like you need some cleansing in the crown chakra. So listen to music that is of, um, a higher um, <clears throat> sulfagio frequency, okay, that will help. And also you need to do cleansing around your crown. I do see some type of, um, some type of blockage, and I don't want you to take blockage as a bad thing, okay? There's just some, something that's not in alignment, okay? Let's just put it that way. I know when I say blockage, people kind of freak out, but... Just work on your crown. Do some purification of your crown chakra, however it is you do in your practice. Um, <clears throat> yeah, purify. I'm getting purified. Okay, so take a spiritual breath and work on the crown. Okay, work on that area. Sage it, you know, um, use dragon blood incense, however you want to do it, do it. Okay, because you're going to start getting clear messages, I feel like. You feel out of alignment right now is what I'm getting for some of you, okay? So let's see what energies we're dealing with, Libra, this month. What energies we're in. Okay. What is this about? Some of you are waiting for someone to either get a divorce or... Um, Something that has to do with court, okay? Ooh, I love it. Okay, listen, Libra, no matter how you feel right now, if you feel really down that things are not moving forward, there's going to be victory, okay? So Spirit is asking for you to be patient at this time. Someone needs to end a contract. <clears throat> this is either you or... Um, the person you're dealing with, okay? So it's some type of a karmic contract. So this could be anything. This could be a, with a, another person 
this could be um, that they have some to something to do with the law is what I'm getting. Um, <clears throat> some type of a contract. It could do with a family. It's some type of karmic contract. You know what, what it is for you, okay? And you've been waiting for them to end this for a while. And that's why you're so disappointed that it's, hey, it, they still didn't end it. They still... Um, are stuck wherever they are and I'm, I'm frustrated from waiting okay and you kind of feel turned off by this person you're feeling turned off and some of you are like why am I be getting turned off from this person um, like for some of you I'm getting you don't even want to be intimate with them or something like that there's a complete um, turn off is what I'm getting for some of you okay um, and it has a lot to do with your frustration. Um, I know it's really hard um, not to judge people when they're going through things like ending contracts, okay? Especially when you think that, you know, you're just like, come on already. Like, I'm so done waiting. But Spirit is saying that you need to have patience. And some of you, this is blocking your creative... Um, your manifestation too so I feel like Libra you need to really take a step back and assess what's really going on and why you're so frustrated um, some things just have to do with divine timing okay and um, you're gonna get what you want though like I see you getting what you want so just be patient I know it's hard I feel ya. Okay, so let's see how the other person is feeling or you. This could go either way. Somebody feels like I don't want to wait anymore, though. <sighs> oh, man. I'm getting so many mixed. Okay. okay. So, you guys. Um, one thing I want to say. Whoever this is, like, you're their emotional fulfillment, regardless. Okay? This is what they want. Um... Some of you stopped waiting for this. I feel like some of you are just disappointed from waiting. And then um, you're thinking someone, somebody's saying, this person is not healing. They're not healing, you know. Um, but the sun is going to come out. If you've been waiting for a commitment with this person, look at this, the 10. We got two 10s. Okay, this is doubling energy. So what I want to say is I feel like something major is ending and another major thing is beginning in your life that's coming in um, Libra so I feel like the wait is going to be over soon oh oh wow that's what they said the wait is going to be over soon um, Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. If you're waiting for a commitment with this person, I feel like you're going to get it. Okay, but it's like... Let's see what this is. Some of you are waiting for communication from this person. Um... Yeah, someone's stuck in their feelings. Someone is not talking. Um, it's a water sign. If you're dealing with a water sign, it doesn't have to be. I feel like someone is so sad that they're blocking their emotions. Okay? And someone is feeling like the other person is being unsincere because of this. I think I got this in another... Was it Gemini? Are you guys dealing with a Gemini? 
Um, so you feel like because of this, because of things not moving forward, like somebody's like, it's blocking your happiness, but it's not really, it's just blocking your emotions. So somebody's closing up more and it's because, um, they, f okay, I'm getting, they feel the, the world on their shoulders, the weight of the world on their shoulders is what I'm getting. And this person is just closing up is what I'm getting kind of like, okay, they just gave me like a really strange, um, okay, that, <laughs> okay, I'm going to say it because spirit just gave me, do you know how, like how a spider, when you, um, I don't know if you kill a spider, spider or like when they do that, I don't even know, um, like their legs kind of just curl up. So I feel like this person is just closing up their heart. Um, I can't say heart. Their emotions is what I want to say. Because um, they feel like they owe it to you, you know, to um, beat this, to get out of whatever, you know, obligation that they're in, right? Um, <clears throat> and that's why you feel like they're not taking action. You're saying, okay, why isn't this person just taking action? Um, you're losing hope. Okay. But I just want to say whoever's losing hope, you guys don't lose hope. Yes. Don't lose hope. They're coming home. Whoever this is, you guys are, you know, going to grow together. And I know it's so hard to be patient, but it's like things have to, you know, end for in order for it to begin, right? You can't, you can't start something and have it be amazing if, <clears throat> and grow together if it's like this person does not end their contract, their karmic contract they have with someone else or with the situation. This has to happen, you all. Um, the spirit just said it's tied to that. So your destiny with this person is tied to that karmic contract ending. Okay? Whatever that karmic contract is, it's tied to that. So they have to end that for order for you to come together. Spirit just said it's tied to it. So have patience. Um, I'm getting goosebumps. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. So what they're saying is that if you want to marry this person, okay, you want the commitment. <clears throat> it could be with the Taurus. But... If you want commitment with this person, they have to free themselves of that contract. So it's like, des this is destiny, you all. I'm picking up, oh, this is, spirit is saying, okay, this person was meant to go through this contract and to end it in order to learn whatever it is they needed to learn clear out the karma with this person, the situation, whatever it is that they're going through right now, okay, in order for you both to come together with a new commitment, okay, so if you've been with someone for a while and they're not really committing to you the way you want them to, it's because they got to close out that commitment, okay, spirit is saying they got to close that out, and before they don't, you know, meanwhile, you guys are not going to work. Um, we're watching out for you because um, okay, so what they're saying is that just trust that you're not together in a committed relationship right now because it wouldn't have worked because this person has to do this. They, they they have this contract. They have to. I don't know how else to explain it. Spirit is giving it to me in like numerous ways, but um, they have to free themselves of that contract. Okay. So anything else you like me to know? Yeah. So this person, whoever they are, it's like, okay. So some of you were like sneaking around is what I want to say. 
And Spirit is saying that, um, Spirit is saying that, um, that's going to be over. It's just taking, yeah, it's just very slow moving energy, right? It's slow, but it's stable. Okay, so Libra, if you prayed, if you wished, if you manifested, um, like you did manifestation skills, practice of like, I want a commitment. I want to be married to this person. Okay, I want a solid commitment. I am done sneaking around. I am done with this in and out energy. I am done with some of you don't live with this person. It's like because they live with someone else, like you want to live with them even. It's like a big deal for you. And spirit is saying um, that we know that it's happening slow, but it is happening. You will have victory. Yeah ending so this is what i'm talking about we got three tens you all endings and you know what happens after endings right new beginnings so new begin beginnings are coming in with you libra just have faith have patience work on yourself while this commitment comes about um it there's endings yeah there's karmic endings for sure okay and you will have victory regardless keep that in mind okay all the energy you put into this relationship all the love affection attention everything you did for this person and i feel for some of you you did so much you're gonna get your rewards for this okay just know that you're gonna be victorious okay it's just a matter of time okay so um yeah so there's great endings and great beginnings. You guys are going to be happy. I feel like you just have to um, just protect yourself um, also is what I'm getting, Libra. So if you feel kind of like in lower energies or you feel kind of like um, you're getting a stream of bad luck is what I'm getting for some of you. Um, if this person is dealing with a karmic partner, the one you're dealing with, um, they might have like send some nasty energy your way. So I want you to protect yourself. Make sure you sage yourself and do like spiritual baths. Okay. That will really, sorry, Libra, I ran out of storage. Okay. So yeah, something, you know, spirit is saying just be patient just know that you are going to be victorious and some of you um what they're saying is you need a hug and if you feel anybody like hugging you or whatever it's spirit hugging you and just telling you everything is going to be okay okay everything is going to work out in your favor okay you've come a long way You've done everything that we've guided you to do, okay? This will not resonate with everyone, but it's like for whoever has, you know, um, a soulmate energy, whoever feels like this is their twin or this is their soulmate, whatever, um, like you guys are meant to be together. That's what you feel. You feel like you're destined to be together. You've put in a lot of work in this connection. It hasn't been easy spirit wants you know is wants to hug you is what they're saying and if you feel anybody or anything like hugging you at night don't freak out it's spirit it's your spirit guides okay because they know you've been through a lot i'm gonna pull um libra another message for you spirit is guiding me to do so because i feel like some of you are just so like you're feeling down you're feeling like disappointed that this thing this connection is not you know, you're not going to the next level of the connection, and you are. Just know that it, it's on its way to you, okay? So, yeah, there's a lot of endings and new beginnings, okay? I feel like, Libra, your life is going to change soon. Um, for some of you, I feel like to whoever wants children, um, 
whoever is like always wanted children, I feel like you're gonna have a baby. You're gonna get pregnant. If that resonates, I know that's only a small group. And they're saying some of you are rushing this commitment because um, you feel like you're getting older and you're not going to be able to conceive or something like that. Just know that has nothing to do with that, okay? When you have this chakra balance, this sacral chakra, you can create anything you want. And that includes having a baby. So I just want you to keep that in mind, okay? No matter what age you are. Obviously, if, you know, you're, you're menopausal, no. But, like, it doesn't matter what age you are. We're in 2019. Everything's possible. When you're connected to divine and you're meant to have kids, you're meant to have kids in this lifetime, okay? So what Spirit is saying is pay attention to your dreams, too many cards what else would you like libra to know pay attention to your dreams you're gonna get some insight when it has to do with this connection anything else for my libras yes okay okay libra so While you're waiting for this commitment to happen, okay, the spirit wants you to realize the blessings that are coming your way. Um, this could be in any form. It could be, you know, people helping you out, um, people reaching out to you, just being there for you. It could be um, money coming your way, um, some support that you need, okay? This can come in many forms and what they're saying is realize all the blessings that are coming into your life just focus on um, your blessings and you're gonna have more blessings coming in okay I feel like Libra there's so much good energy coming in I know you don't feel like this at this time but it you feel like things are stuck or whatnot not moving but they are um, Anything else you like Libra to know? Yeah. There is a much needed retreat. Okay. Um, I'm getting the crown energy again, you guys. Um, also, if you're in uh, around any body of water, I want you to go put your feet in the water. Um. This will help. Purification. I keep getting purification, you all. So I don't know what that means, but if you're in any type of body of water, if you don't have a body of water around you, take a bath. I want you to take a detox bath or a spirit, what they call spiritual bath. Um, look it up if you don't know what that means. Um, you really need this and. I feel like for some of you, you're so frustrated right now that you might hurt the other person. So keep that in mind. If you feel like that, don't lash out. Um, I know you're frustrated, okay? But don't lash out at the other person because the other person is doing the best that they can right now, okay? They are really doing their best and might not seem like that to you, okay? So Libra, I wish you have a wonderful month. I will see you all in a few weeks. I will talk to you all in a few weeks. <laughs> okay, if, if this resonated with you or helped you in any way, don't forget to like, share. Um, if you feel this can help someone and subscribe if you already haven't done so. Thank you all for your support and I will talk to you all in soon, in a few weeks. Take care, Libra. Bye.